Hello all, welcome or welcome back to Illuminate the Oracle. Happy to have you as always. Hope you're taking care of yourselves. And um, yeah, moving with grace with yourself as well as with other people during these kind of um, confusing, uh, emotionally filled times. <laughs> so anywho, uh, with that said, this is going to be a collective love reading for all signs so we can get a gist of what's going on out here in the atmosphere. Um, this is going to be a collective sign, as I said, a collective, this is going to be a collective reading, as I said, for all signs. So if that's your bag, that's your bag. Only take what resonates, leave behind anything else for anyone else. All right. Um, also keep in mind that my readings can be past, present, and or future. Okay. Um, thank you for all you do around here. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscribes. It all helps this channel a bunch. Um, when it's a comment box, thank you for your comments. Excuse me. Thank you for your donations and your super thanks and um, how you reach out to me and share your love. I appreciate that. that, that it's filled me with a lot of joy <laughs> and um, confirmation, right? Um, it's not, you know, I'll just say that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Um, I am open for personals. I would never reach out to you to read you. Um, you have to reach out to me. Um, so if you get that urge to do that, that information will be down below as well as my rates. Because every now and again, I will get an email from people um, reaching out to me about what I do or, you know, um, scheduling something. Um, I guess my thing is always try to book it and then when you email me, send me that confirmation and then let me know like what you want me to, you know, what you want the, your focus to be on. <laughs> and from there we can, you know, kind of decipher um, if we need to schedule. So I think there was a, a couple of questions about the Zoom 101. So for Zoom 101s, those aren't pre recorded. So we'll situate that after the confirmation of what was paid for, or what service was paid for. All right, that's just for some work. All right, uh, yeah, thank you. <sighs> Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only take messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will that you blight and you just sent our way, kindly remove and return the energy back to the rightful owner. Bind them up in their own energy so they can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you. All right. So let's see. What is this reading about today, Holy Spirit? As it pertains to my collective and that person on their mind. Is that how, is that the reading we want to do today? We're out the cusp. Um, what do what's hidden? Okay. So the person on my collective mind person my collective has heavily on their mind holy spirit what is hidden what is my collective what is hidden from my collective my collective needs to know what does my collective need to hear as it retains to their person all right what is this reading about holy spirit what is this reading about today please and thank you all right let's get it okay it's so bizarre! I literally had the song in my head, but I was like, that already channeled. Like I already this this is this song just channeled before. And I wasn't gonna sing it. It takes two to make a God. I'm goofy. Cause my spiritual team they don't play about me, okay? It's like I wasn't gonna sing it, and my spiritual team was like, no, sing it. <laughs> It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. <laughs> I was like, uh. I mean, I heard it in my head to channel, but I was just like, nah. <laughs> it's like, who do you think you are? And the, the card actually pops out. It takes two, okay? Seeing both sides. So, and this is a Bob the Builder, okay? So it looks like, there's some work that's being done, some kind, of, some type of construction, some type of repairs. Someone's real, someone is realizing it takes two to make a thing go right. 
Okay. We got, oh, wow. We got a whole Bob the Builder, the whole Bob the Builder storyline happening here. We got um, healing, two-way, talk, plan, clarity. The sticker says, how can we build it? How can we build it? Clarity, okay? And we got that two-way. So there's a, already a, a heavy... Um, Already a heavy um, confirmation of the number two. We already got two two, um, just by in the wording. You know, it was not like the the number two was on there, but um, we have it written out twice on these, both these cards. Then we have travel, vacation, no phone, unplug. So is there a vacation happening or someone is traveling? Someone's in this energy of unplugging? Or someone currently has no phone? Or they want to be in the energy of unplugging with you? Deja vu. Deja vu. Could you be the dream that I once knew? Shining through. I keep remembering me. Ah, I keep remembering you. Hey, deja vu. That's Dionne Warwick. Deja vu. Deja vu. Could you be the dream that I once knew? Shining through. Deja vu. So something, something's coming back. <laughs> like a boomerang. Like a deja vu. How do I mean that? I mean that I keep remembering me. I keep remembering you. Deja vu. So this is a soulmate, high level soulmate or twin connection here with that deja vu. It's that energy of like the lover I once knew. It's all uh it's all the songs you can think of that's in that same realm. That same thing. Um reminisce on the love we had. Let's make the time tonight. Someone wants to make the time. Someone's making the time. Okay, what is this reading about? Deja vu. Something coming. Something's coming back with deja vu. So it definitely could be someone that you're familiar with, um, that y'all desire, <laughs> desire each other equally. Okay. Can't fake that funk. <laughs> Can't fake that funk. What is reading about? Let's get some more. Yes. Uh, we got power masculine. Lover, support, care, protect, commander, visions, leader. Divine masculine. Okay, so I feel like this divine masculine is someone that's discovering their power, or discovered their power. Um, they feel this need to be like a support to you. To be protective a commander someone that has the strategy someone that has the plan if this connection is stuck then this is someone that has the plan out this is someone that has the way all right i feel like when it comes to this isn't just someone that's just like um this is what makes this masculine divine because this is not someone that leads um say by means of control or brutality like these are all qualities in which he possesses he can he can um showcase those abilities but it's something here about like this is someone that is a leader naturally so it's like people just fall behind or follow this person they they respect this person they know this person to have the plans so it's not like for instance, if y'all are, if anybody watches House of the Dragon, um, no spoilers, I'll never spoil, but just the general idea of um, when you think of lineage and who's next in line, but somehow or sometimes the next in line is not necessarily a reflection of who's the best available and how that can kind of be the luck of the draw sometimes. But when it comes to like the past and when it comes to leadership abilities or leadership qualities, once upon a time, people didn't really have 
a whole lot of time for people who were people. Mm, how do I say this? There wasn't a whole lot of patience for people who uh, were given leadership of uh, leadership uh, opportunities without possessing the quality, without uh, possessing the, the skill. Um, and how that can be brutal, right? Um, oof, like, oof, I don't even, no spoilers, but one of the past episodes, it was like uh, a queen regent who was like kind of trying to coach her son who's in the leadership position on how things should have gone or kind of let him know like, you know, time has passed already. Now all we can really do is reflect on what we could have done differently and what this queen regent or mother tried to bespoke tried to bestow onto her son was that, you know, it wasn't so much that you didn't know all the things that you needed to know. It was that you refused. You refused the teachings. You refused the observations. You refused your intuition. You refused the clues that were blinding you as to what was going on around you. And you just uh, believed that you were entitled to a position. So instead of using this very new opportunity to learn as much as you could to be a better leader, you just thought that you were entitled to a position. So this could have been your person. Maybe the first time around, they just thought, hmm, I know Collect is my person. And I know this is love. And I know it takes two. But I don't know confidence okay so perhaps that was an issue confidence all right so if someone lacked the confidence to pursue or lacked the confidence of taking to maybe there was a, um, a nervousness about okay well if i give then they can take and i'll just be left with whatever i got but i think the thing is let's see let's see Let's see. Let's go ahead and get the tarot. Okay. What does my collector need to know when it, it takes two? Seeing both sides. Let's get to work. What does my collector need to know? It takes two, baby. Me and you. So I'm hearing that too. We got the Empire here. And we got the Ten of Chalices. I'll take Ten of Chalices and I'll take the Empire. I'm putting the rest back because it was a bunch, but that's what we've got here. Um, so this is someone that has, it looks like, received a, releva a, a, a revelation, a revelation about who you are to them. Um, so this is someone that previously was not seeing your side. They were not putting in that effort. Um, Ooh, looks like they got some judgment on that too. Okay. Um, I feel like this person judged you in the past. Okay. They could have also had this energy of things need to come to me. Okay. As it pertains to this very spiritual connection. Um... This person could have a lot of responsibilities, or this person could have been very concerned about um, how they how they be perceived to pursue. Knight of Stakes. But I feel like that fear, in turn allow them to do some really kind of like reckless things that pertain to this connection as it pertains to this very spiritual connection i feel like this person got yeah i feel like this person very much was aware and the know uh of who you were to them um but yeah with a ton of chalices i just feel like it was something they just feel like it was too good to be true They didn't know if they deserve this. All right, so let's check into this healing talk plan clarity. 
What is my collective? Someone wants to know, can we build this? Because if someone knows, like, this time, this time I know it's for real. Someone saying, this time I know it's for real. I'm going crazy just to let you know. You'd be amazed how much I love you so, baby. Um, when I get my hands on you, I won't let go. And this time I know it's for real. This time I know it's for real. Um, oh, look at this. Someone's saying this time I know it's for real. Look at these. these <laughs> I don't know why I'm taking all this. <sighs> but I want to take it. So we got nine of pentacles. Okay, that's clarifying um, this clarity and healing. This, this talking. Someone wants to know, can we build it? Someone is very much in the in the awareness of a, a two way street. It takes two. Okay, but I feel like this person only gained this awareness through you pulling away, through this awareness of you are out on your own, or through you showing rather than telling this person that you are not begging nothing from this person. There's nothing that this person can provide to you that you can't provide to yourself. And it's not just about financially, but it's like security. Like whatever this person felt that they were missing in their confidence, I feel like you have done so much to even <laughs> perhaps help this person feel more confident in themselves. But the thing is, is that you gave that to them so easily because that's what you feel inside. So when this person was not contributing to this connection the way in which you felt as though they could or should, there was no conversation like they had. There was no begging. There was no pleading. It was just a pulling away. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is like, this is someone that is um, in their own world, like in their own, attending to them, attending to their world claiming their power this is this is someone um at work or at their job right exercising a skill securing themselves you could get a message at work this um person is looking at her phone as she's at work in the middle of a task so i feel like you know this person this king of pentacles needs to find that security within themselves um to approach this single kind of <laughs> in their own devices kind of person. Like, this is someone that's uh, woo, looking to influence <laughs> you in the way they feel like you've influenced them. Um, they're very excited about getting across a message to you about some type of brutal ending that they've had to endure. They felt like they had to assassinate or take out a major villain in their world, someone that they once trusted and felt as, as a romantic counterpart of, the, of themselves. Or this could have been, you know, the situation. Maybe you had to put the kibbutz or put some sort of kibbutz. Maybe you had to put the kibosh on something that was becoming um, brutal. Or a, a, it could have been. There could have been a type of portrayal in the mix here. Whether it's something that this King of Pentacles put you through or something that this King of Pentacles, Pentacles have had to endure. But with that judgment also showing in the beginning of the reading, it lets me know that it could have been just something that this person had to, due to how they judge, they became judged. Okay? All right. So what is this travel and vacation and no phone that my collective needs to know about Holy Spirit? What is this travel, vacation, no phone, unplug? Okay, what am I collecting to know as pertains to this? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. This person says they're going crazy just to let you know, so let me know that they're still holding back. I'm going crazy just to let you know. Okay, so we got three of pentacles in the reverse. And the deck closed here. Hmm. We need clarity here. 
Clarify this three of pentacles, Holy Spirit. There's some disharmony here. Woo! Ten of chalices. Terrifying. Someone is really um, apprehensive about whether or not you would want to work with them or want to unplug with them. Hmm. Clarify this three of pentacles in the reverse, Holy Spirit. Clarify justice. Because someone needs to still make something clear. <laughs> someone needs to... Uh, speak out on something um speak on some truth or a truth has come out and so someone needs to like balance the scale here as it pertains to a queen of stakes or a queen of wands you're this person's wish fulfillment here they see you um, shining and glowing here, but I feel like there was some type of miscommunication that you had with this person that they have to make right. It could have been something that you could have waited on for quite a bit with the Knight of Pentacles, a sense of clarity on some type of thing that was misconstrued or confused. All right. And so now this person is, is feeling a bit blocked off from you, feeling like, you may, I don't know, I just feel like they're in disharmony from you. What is this deja vu? What does Michael F. need to know as it pertains to deja vu? Okay. What is deja vu, Holy Spirit? What does Michael F. need to know as it pertains to this deja vu? I keep remembering me. I keep remembering you. Self-indulgence. So someone is healing themselves here. We got focusing on self, self-worth shadow work and self-appreciation okay so you may be you know thinking about this person or i feel like y'all are both having a, um um let's see clarify self-indulgence for my collective <clears throat> we got a girl with a snake that want to pop out so someone's having to um we got the phoenix so yeah someone's healing or approaching a new phase or coming um entering a new phase rekindling renewing transformation growth okay this connection is entering into a new phase as well um this is someone for some of y'all in the past with the deja vu you know um okay this is someone that you desire equally so let's see what does my collective need to know as it pertains to desire each other equally, Holy Spirit? What does my collective need to know? Ooh. Okay. Yep, so we got four of scythes here. And two of pentacles. bottom of the deck we got two of sights okay <clears throat> yeah I feel like y'all both are in this um, energy of uh, woo, healing pulling your energy back reflecting um, you know uh, perhaps someone is trying to focus their energy on work um, and kind of just finding their balance again. There's a lot of twos in this reading. Two, 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 two. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of Earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo could be significant here. Aries could be significant here. Um, well, it's Air, so Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius could be significant here. All right. What is this person's intentions 
as it pertains to my collective Holy Spirit. What are this person's intentions as it pertains to my collective? Please and thank you. The moon. To unleash some emotions they've been holding inside. And smack dab in the middle of that moon card is a character from that from the Buffy show. Her name is Faith. This is someone that has been maintaining their faith. That something will come back through or come back together as it pertains to you. This card is the Four of Stakes, which is the Four of Wands. This is someone that you are their home. They want to come back home. They want you back home. I feel like, you know, with that four that card, uh, Four of Stakes or Four of Wands, it's like a car um <clears throat> Kind of like a car crashing into a sign that's like welcome here like welcome to sunnydale so i feel like someone is just gonna kind of arrive on you <laughs> they could just like be plowing through your town you could be at a distance from this person they can need to travel to you rather you're in different differing cities or towns or states perhaps even countries this person may need to come or uh, travel a distance to you or it could just be emotional distance as well um, but I feel like this is someone that wants a brand new beginning as it pertains to this connection, okay? With the Ace of Stakes, it's a very passionate new beginning as well. Um, yeah, that's their intention is a passionate new beginning with you and all these emotions about you that they're holding inside. Cancer could be significant here, okay? Oh yeah, we got double cancer energy with this Nine of Chalices. And we got Seven of Pentacles and the Devil. Capricorn could be significant here. Um, seven of Pentacles, the Devil, and Ace of Stakes with Nine of Chalices and the Moon. <sighs> That's a lot of hidden emotions and passion. That's a lot of sexy energy. Um... This person's obsessed with, with, yeah. The desire is bordering on, bordering on obsession. Okay. No way not. Um, all right. And it's, I feel like it's this power masculine. Okay. So let's see. Um, last card I hear. What is my collective to know as it pertains to this um, power masculine? This person that wants to, I want to be a lover. Someone that could be very mysterious or could feel like you're very mysterious. Um, I feel like their plans and, and their ways of moving forward is very mysterious. Okay. What am I collecting to know? What does my collecting need to hear, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. We could ask for help. So your spiritual team is definitely communicating with you at this time. You're seeing lots of synchronicities about this person you like to saying their name everywhere whoever is kind of like um getting closer and closer to you or whoever's energy you're feeling at this point in time your, your spiritual team is definitely trying to communicate with you who this person is um and who's moving forward okay and that's a merman there and they got a trident in their hand so this is definitely someone who's highly motivated to exert their power not in uh, a malicious or like a controlling kind of way but in a way of just like i didn't put my bid in the first time the way i should have but this time i keep hearing that like that that song that donna summer song because she keeps repeating it throughout the song toward the end this time this time I know it's for real. Yeah, I feel like right now you're just waiting on uh, the universe timing on this. Okay. Because I feel like your person is waiting on spirit. <laughs> you know, when they get the green light that they're that, that they're prepared, complete cake. <laughs> And then, you know, they can proceed, okay? Because I feel like for y'all both, this is a bonded connection. And it's a birthright connection, okay? 
and you just know it. And if you don't, then it's probably not your read. This is for the people that have gotten down. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and try these time oracle cards. And that's where we'll end it. Because, I don't know. Hopefully, the video's turning out all right. But from my end, it just seems to be a little glitchy. So, hopefully, we're good. But, um, we'll see. All right. So let's end it off, Holy Spirit. What is my collecting to know? Uh, what can my collective expect to hear from their person? It's going to be different from everybody. You know, everybody's on different timelines. Okay, but we'll just see with these time world cards what collective has. Okay, so let's see. What are some timelines we got? <laughs> Allow things to come. Okay. We got, it's going to take a while. So for some, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a while. Everybody's going to be different. Everybody knows. Okay, what else we got? Okay. We got something significant about March for some people here. For it's going to take a while, that could even be it's taken a while. All right, so if you just started, then you know, you know. Okay, there could be something significant about October. Ooh. All right. There could be something significant about September. Okay. September and October. Those could even be like birthdays. Or somebody could have like birthdays in September or October. Or y'all could even met in September or October. Okay. It says stop obsessing first. <laughs> they get a little sassy on us now. All right. Festive season. Okay, that's also around like what September, October, right? Um, it's not too late. All right, that's all I got. If you, know, you like my vibe, you know, I'm not too much like this, then come on back then. All right, until next time. Whew.